Hey guys, Justin here with today's quarantine quad day workout featuring the Prime Trap Bar. So obviously warm up first, so three to four sets um, of warm up sets, just getting the ankles, knees, hips, muscle tissue primed up and ready for the workout ahead because you're going to load it um, a bit heavier than we ha I have before because previous to this I've only had access to bands and body weights and sprints and stuff. One of the great features about the Prime Trap Bar is the jack stand, so you can just tilt it up on its end like that and throw the weights on. Great for when you're loading heavier stacks. It also has these um, telescopic handles, which we'll get into a bit more when we do some mechanical drop sets throughout this workout. But the first exercise, I did five sets of heels, elevated trap bar squats. Um, really focusing on the negative, the control at the bottom, and then my intent here is to really drive the floor away hard. So pause at the bottom, push the floor away hard, that sort of controlled acceleration from the bottom will help you recruit um, more muscle tissue and you will get a lot more intensity out of the exercise. So here we go, here we've got the mechanical drop set. So I'm gonna do four sets here and using those um, telescopic handles, I'm just gonna pull them up a little bit each set. So I'll do um, six to 10 reps, then I'll just bump up the, the handle. So I'll, I'll be at a more mechanical advantage position. So. I'm just not going as deep each set. So you're gonna fatigue out the bottom, then you're gonna do a couple of sets in the middle range. And you're gonna get hit, like try and hit sort of eight to 10 the first two sets, and then you're gonna finish with six to eight the last two sets as that fatigue kicks in. Um, but this mechanical drop set is a great way to extend the sets and really blow up those quads um, when you've got limited equipment around and you're not in and out of the gym as we are in normal times. So after the heel elevated trap bar squats, I did front heel elevated split squats. So a bit of unilateral work um, to iron out any imbalances I've, had, I've acquired over this quarantine period. So using the prime wedges, if you don't have prime wedges, you can use like a block, a bit of wood, just raise the heel. That heel elevation just allows your ankle to be in a greater position to let the knee travel further forward. Um, and then you'll get more knee bend or knee flexion. So you can require, ask the quads to do a little bit more work. So from here, I'm really focused on controlling the down. Really control the bottom, don't use any momentum here. And then think acceleration, so you're gonna drive the floor or the ground away. And then no rest at the top. So once I come to the top, I'm trying to come straight back down into that next rep. So if you're hitting sort of your, your 10, 12 reps, I don't want you to hit six reps, rest for five seconds at the top, and then do it again. So that would be like a mini set or a cluster set. So. Um, for today's workout, I was just trying to pump in a lot more lactate work because um, I've kind of missed it in this quarantine period. So after that, I then I've seen like um, one of my mentors, Coach Kasim, do this one a fair bit. I've been reluctant to give it a go. Um, so it's like a sissy squat slash leg extension. I haven't actually had a good time contracting the quads lately, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, there's nothing around the front yard here to really load the bands on heavy, so I just used the trap bar. I put the wedges under my toes just for something to drive into and it was like it's okay it's no leg extension it's definitely no prime leg extension um, which I've been like using at um, a gym here and like or just outside of Toronto but it is a good feeling to squeeze or get a, a good contraction in that short position which a lot of the other exercises are loaded in the stretch position so here like at the top I've got a lot of band resistance the way that bands lined up I can squeeze I can get the Quads fully short with a bit of load where all the other exercises are kind of like loaded in that bottom position of the squat. So we did get some work in today, 414 calories, max heart rate of 168. If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tick the bell for more updates and upcoming workout videos and exercise tips.